Hi everybody and welcome to this month's tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman, the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to talk to you about using neighbor parts for better layout and dimensioning of your shop drawings. Um, now as you can see here we've got a pretty basic handrail and kind of unrelated to the topic at hand, I do want to make sure that everyone is aware of this handrail dimensioning extension that is available on the Tecla warehouse. It is a free download, you just got to go ahead and search for it if you don't have it installed already. And basically this guy's pretty straightforward in that it provides you with a, a sort of toolbar with these different buttons for different dimensioning styles. So if you wanted to add something, you can simply click on that button and it will go ahead and find the relevant points and put in those dimensions for you. So just, you know, again, an unrelated tip. If you want to dimension your handrail faster, this is a great tool uh, and free. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and get that. Um, but the reason for today's video is a lot of times I get these requests from people or questions from people about how do I dimension to something like a stair that is underneath this railing that I need to reference for some sort of checking dimensions or just sort of verification of handrail positioning. Um, and to do that we can use neighbor parts but it's kind of nice to be able to have them there but not necessarily print them. Uh, we just want them there for our own purposes. So what you can do is double click in the drawing background and then you can access the neighbor parts down here under the objects section of your assembly drawing properties. If you click on neighbor parts you have some options for what you want to include and you have things like connected parts, connecting parts, all components or by extreme. Now personal experience I have the most consistent results with by extreme so that's typically what I use um, when I'm using this option. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the by extreme uh, setting. You can choose to have main parts or secondary parts or both. I'm going to go ahead and say both because maybe I want to include the steps in the stair underneath. Um, and then before I can actually see these, I need to go to the appearance tab and just verify that I've got colors and line weights set up for all of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and hit modify. And we can see that the stair turns on underneath the railing. This is our neighbor parts. They're next to the railings. But again, I want to maybe reference these, but I don't necessarily want to see them on the sheet because it's not something that's necessarily relevant. So you can actually go in here and turn off the color change it to a white or a hidden color for these objects and that way they still show up and we can still snap to them but you're not going to get them in a print uh, or you don't necessarily want to see these in a print so you can see that it's there and if I wanted to snap to something like maybe pulling a dimension from the nosing of my first step up to the top of my grab rail there um, we can go ahead and do so by using that neighbor part now right now you can see that I've also got neighbor part marks turned on and maybe the, I, I don't want to see those. So there is actually a neighbor part mark section here where I can go ahead and hide those uh, part positions for the main and secondary parts. Uh, and then we're just getting the line work under there that's not printing. Um, but again, if we wanted to turn on part marks for that, or maybe we just wanted to add something like an associative note, Tecla can still see that object. Um, so there it is showing the ST4 stair. You know, I probably wouldn't have a, a leader line pointing to it since it's not going to print. We can actually see that if we change to the black and white presentation by typing the letter B on my keyboard. Um, so, you know, I see people doing this again for dimensioning to reference parts. I also see this for uh, things like column drawings where people want to show the size and shape of the beams that the clip angles or sorry that the uh, the shear tabs are holding on to. So there's lots of possibilities here um, for wanting to turn these on for internal purposes. If nothing else you can use these for checking purposes so that somebody else can come along here and actually check your sheet using um, those hidden parts that aren't going to be printing anywhere. But again, if you want to put in any type of layout lines, maybe I want to show the nosing line there because I want a dimension between those points. Let me go ahead and change that to black and white again so we can see that nosing line. Um, there are, so there are some pretty nice applications for that. You can, of course, go ahead and save those properties away in your assembly drawing property, so you don't have to do that every time, where the neighbor parts are on but hidden with whatever line weight properties or line type properties that you want to show. 
So anyway, just a real quick tip this month. Again, it comes up from time to time when I'm doing um, kind of presentations to people, so I thought I would share this with everyone. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, go ahead and share those below. Any requests for future videos, go ahead and share those below as well. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.